What life-changing item can you buy for less than $100? Nice try Jeff Bezos. Two pet ducks. You may be tempted to go for one. But trust me. You need to. And you'll have about $76 left over. House plants. They will make you happy looking after them. I recently bought a Venus flytrap. She caught her first fly today. So proud. Another monitor. Your productivity will increase dramatically. Aeropress coffee maker. The thing broke my wife of her dollar two hundred. Monthly Starbucks habit. The unit costs maybe twenty five dollars or so. Rice cooker. That fucker kept me fed during depression when I barely had the energy to get out of bed. Takes less than nothing to get some rice in there and flip the switch. Want something sweet? Throw coconut and sugar in there. Want flavor but can't be fucked to make anything? Get some Spanish rice or saffron going. You can throw tofu in there with it if you need. Yet it's not the best for you but hot food is better than no food. New pair of socks. If you've been wearing the same pairs forever like I typically usually do there's nothing like putting on a new pair of freshly bought socks. You can totally feel the difference. I never realized Till was an adult sadly but I appreciate the feeling of new socks all the time. I bought a $1 back scratcher from an Asian market in town. Best $1 I ever spent. This post cost me over $400 so far. Motion sensor night lights. Can't tell you how many stub toes or falls they have prevented. Also a cheap intruder alarm. Carbon monoxide detector. May sound simple. But a good pillow. It is amazing the change in body aches. And sleep you see when you have a good pillow that fits you. It's Condoms. Step 1, throw away all your socks. Step 2, buy 3 to 5 packages of the same sock. Step 3, enjoy a life without ever having to match socks again. A basic skincare routine. I'm talking like cleanse. Moisturize sunscreen and if you're really adventurous slash in need get yourself a topical for acne or concerns amazing for your self-esteem and also becomes a form of self-care eventually it's so easy to forget to take care of yourself meat thermometer no more cutting open meat to see if it's done thus leaking juices a good showread I cannot stress enough how a high-quality shoriat can turn getting clean into utterly zen. 30-minute self-healing and relaxation session. Edit, OK clarification. I don't shower for 30 minutes every day. Modern rain shoriats use very little water and I only have about 15 minutes to get ready in the morning so this is a rare treat I let myself do once or twice a month. I appreciate the loving comments. 24. M. I bought a book online about SQL for like 25 bucks and then a course on Udemy for like 11.99. But went from a job earning 35.000 to 55.000 because I took time to learn a new skill. And if I end up staying and becoming a higher level analyst. Salary is around 70-75k. Maybe data analysis isn't your gig. But learning a skill can be cheap in terms of money, more time consuming than anything but worthwhile. A hammock. Bought my Eno a year ago and I have no idea what I did without it. You can literally post up anywhere and everywhere and it will encourage you to go outside a lot more. A good chef's knife and a cast iron skillet. When you have tools that are satisfying to use. Cooking becomes less chore and more hobby. You'll end up eating healthier. Cheaper than takeout slash restaurant. And ditching the dull Walmart knife and scratched up non-stick aluminum skillet are the best place to start. Editing to add. Since so many are asking what to get, Victorinox 8 or 10 chef's knife. And 10 lodge cast iron skillet. These in my opinion are at the tippy top of the curve on quality to price ratio. These probably leave enough room in the budget to get a $2 steel from Goodwill and a large butcher block cutting board. As long as you use the steel with some regularity. A good knife should go a long time before it actually needs to be sharpened. Second edit, I agree that a good sharpener is important. But if you have $100 to spend today you can wait on sharpener as long as you have a steel to maintain the edge. You will need one. But not today. 
Also I am going to take another look at carbon steel skillets. A desk for laptop. Seriously using it on bed or somewhere else isn't as great as it's on a desk. Also a comfortable chair. I bought 8 meals, meal preps, for $96 for someone. It helped them through a hard time and provided hope. They just got their own place now and can comfortably afford all their meals on their own. Edit, damn it I was going to cash in this good karma for something in life. Not fake internet point. Books. Knowledge is currency that only increases. A Kindle, or any similar e-reader. If you don't read a lot but you'd like to. It's great. You can download any books you want for almost nothing, or literally nothing on some websites, and the fact that you don't have to go to the bookstore to buy books will make you much more inclined to read. Also it takes up little to no space. Needs charging only every few weeks. So overall it'll make it easier for you to read and be motivated. Upgraded my box spring. Pillow. And purchased a sound machine before lockdown. I've had more solid sleep and am having quite more pleasant days. I live with anxiety and PTSD and am a cannabis user, medically slash proper channels. As a father of three, fourth in route. Life is simply compounding with interior place issues. After I upgraded my box spring and pillow I purchased, a sound machine. To be honest. Each of these three things with elevate your sleeping and alter you days to come, not to mention the medical. Each of these things are separately $100. A whole bunch of LSD. A good set of cookware. Whether it's pots and pans. Or a good chef's knife. Every investment I make in my kitchen increases my quality of life. Edit, I feel like a few people are being deliberately negative about this. For those of you who honestly don't think that you can buy good cookware for under $100 I encourage you to temper your expectations of what good is and check out Amazon right now. If you want a full-blown set of decent pots and pans there is a ceramic set for around $85 right now. Ceramic cookware is what I started learning to cook on. It's not perfect but it's a lot better than any Teflon or imitation Teflon crap out there. If you prefer iron like I do. Lodge is a great company and they have a 10 inch iron skillet on sale for $15 right now. now. Pair that with a decent chef's knife from Mercer $45, the brand I am currently using, then throw in a Dutch oven, looks like you can get one from Lodge for $40 and it has a decent rating. And you're good to go. Those three tools will last for life if taken care of and you can make so much with them. A shepherd's pie. Pizza. Fresh bread. Soups and stews. Stir fry. I mean almost anything. Pro tip. Even if it says pre-seasoned. Look up how to season it anyway. And never use soap on your iron. Scrub it in the sink under hot water. Heat it up on the stove to get the moisture off fast. When it cools off rub it down with any old cooking oils. Just a thin layer with a paper towel will do. Instant pot. Seriously. I love my instant pot more than I loved my first slow cooker. It changed summer cooking for me forever. Edit, so many comments and questions. I get all my recipes and food ideas from YouTube channels. Too many to mention here. I bought the Zest Pot because it was cheaper, I use it mainly for casseroles. Chili. Rice and pasta dishes. It gets so hot in here that it's nice not to turn on the oven. A kitchen scale. Completely changed my food consumption. Since I could easily measure portions. I learned what they actually should be. Not what we in the US act like they are. That plus my fitness pal, the free version even. Equals me losing 120 pounds over 18 months and developing a much healthier relationship with food and eating. Very simple tools. But great for enacting real. Lasting change. A Brita filter water pitcher and reusable bottles. I cut out most drinks aside from water back in October and we were going through 2 plus cases a week. It was expensive. Heavy. Took up way too much space and was such a waste of plastic. I ended up buying a Brita pitcher from Walmart for about $18. We fill it up 2 or 3 times a day and everyone has their own water bottle now. When quarantine started and no one could find bottled water. But we were good. There were so many positives to buying the Brita pitcher that I wish I had bought it years ago. Spotify Premium. 
Vibrator. Edit, THX for the award kind strangers and to all of y'all for your recommendations. I'm definitely enjoying reading this. Takeaways on best toys. Hitachi. Womanizer. Tracy's dog. Magic wand and satisfier. Honorable mentions. Just vibrate harder. Toothbrush with a condom. PS4 controller. Broomstick handle. We remote. For boob havers out there. A really good bra that looks great alone and under almost everything. Fits really well. And you're not dying to take it off at the end of the day. But they do exist. Even for the busta like myself. It requires an outlay of cash. But you don't need to pay $100 plus for it. A gym membership. Lost 15 kilograms and regained my self-confidence. Definitely life-changing. It was completely free for me to pick up a Naloxone kit from my local pharmacy. When I called about picking one up. They scheduled a free training one-on-one -on -one with me so that I knew how to administer it in the event of an overdose. Being in university and having parties around our place made it seem necessary to have one. Just in case. Never had to use it. 100 feet Ethernet cable. Technology has not yet improved to the point where wireless communication is reliable or fast enough to compare to wired. For large downloads and gaming. Anyway. Wi-Fi is fine for anything you could do on a phone. Thanks for watching.